Question marks in informal writing. Why so curious? Hello everyone, and welcome to our new lesson. Today, we're going to explore an exciting aspect of English language, punctuation marks, and specifically, the question mark. We're going to delve into its usage, but with a fun twist. We're focusing on using question marks in informal writing. Ready to learn more? Let's dive right in. First, let's revisit the basics. A question mark, as we know, is used to indicate a question in written English. But in informal writing, the rules can sometimes become flexible. For instance, using multiple question marks for emphasis or combining it with other punctuation for expression. Example, you're moving to New York? In informal writing, we sometimes use more than one question mark to show surprise, disbelief, or other strong emotions. This can add an element of expressiveness to your writing that isn't typically found in more formal contexts. Example, are you serious? I can't believe you did that. Remember, this is not standard English and should be used sparingly and only in casual conversations like text messages or social media posts. Here's where it gets interesting. In informal writing, you might come across situations where people combine a question mark with an exclamation mark. This is often done to convey a sense of surprise, shock, or outrage. Example, what? You've never been to a concert? Again, it's important to note that this is not formally correct, but in informal situations, it can convey emotions more effectively. While it's fun to play around with question marks in informal writing, remember that excessive usage can make your writing confusing or even annoying. Using multiple question marks or other punctuation marks can be seen as shouting or being overly dramatic. Keep your audience in mind. Do's. Use multiple question marks or combined punctuation to show surprise or disbelief in a casual conversation. Don'ts. Overuse this technique, as it may make the text difficult to read. Use it in a formal context. It's best to stick with the standard rules in these situations. And that's a wrap on our lesson about using question marks in informal writing. We hope you found this discussion enlightening, and remember, while language rules are important, they can also be playful and flexible in the right context. Stay curious, keep learning, and see you next time for more exciting English language lessons.